Hey guys, thank you for tuning back to my channel. My name is Zell Dog, and this is my kitchen where I'll be teaching you how to make affordable restaurant quality food or better from my home to yours. Guys, stay tuned in and do not miss out. Let's get cooking. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm so happy today that I'm doing this collaboration with my homeboy Ray Mac Kitchen and Grill. If you don't have him, you need to go over there and check him out. He's an awesome guy. He's been helping me out through this YouTube journey. And um, he just be cooking up a lot of good soul foods and stuff like that. And uh, I've been rocking with him for about two years. Good dude. He always preaches love and not hate. And that's for real. And that's what we don't do. So uh, let me go ahead and jump into what we're going to be doing. So make sure you guys go over there though, for real. Go out, go and check out Ray Mac Kitchen and Grill. And tell them Veil Dog sent you over there. Alright. Okay, let's go ahead. Today we're going to be making you guys a po' boy New York strip steak with sauteed onions and mushroom and pepper jack cheese. All right, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Here's my uh, New York strip steaks right here. Now I trimmed it right here. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. So let me put that away without touching my bread. Here's my bread right here. I already cut it and all that good stuff, so that's what's up with that. And I have some cheese right here, pepper jack cheese. Have some mushrooms on there. Could have just picked the plate up, right? <laughs> All right. All right. Now here's the um, season that I have over here. I have some um, some coarse sea salt. I have some. Let's get right here. Uh, some thyme. I have some thyme right here. And right here is a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic and granulated um, onion powder. Okay? So it's in there, trust me. <laughs> Alright? And you're going to need an onion and some pepper. Alright? Now, steak sauce, I'm debating on <clears throat> which one I want to go with. Which one, which one you guys prefer? You want the A1 or do you want this one right here? 57 highs. Which one would you pick? Comment down below and tell me which one you would like on your sandwich. I'm going with both of them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one on the top and one on the bottom because I love both of them. Alright, so comment down below. I couldn't make up my mind. Comment down below and let me know which one you prefer. Uh, that one or this one. Alright? Okay, guys. So first thing we want to do is move this plate out the way. I just wanted to show you the season that I was using. Okay. It's the granulated. And that's the uh, coarse sea salt. And the black pepper. Alright. So, first thing we want to do, come over here. I already put some olive oil on, on both sides of this meat. Okay. So, what I want to do is take me some salt and just season this up real well. On the sides and all. And I did leave my steak out for about a good hour and a half. Be at room temperature. Alright, hold on guys. I'll be right back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. Alright, yeah, we're just going to season this up. Come in here with my black pepper. That's my daughter coming in and out. So roughly probably like a teaspoon. Alright, 
think we're good on that. I always press my hops, season it in my meat. Alright, we're gonna cover with some of this granulated um, onion and um, garlic. Tons of flavor, guys. Tons of flavor. All right. Now we're gonna come with this um, thyme. Okay, I think I about done. Okay. All right, we're just gonna press on that, lock all them juices in. I mean, the flavor. And this is what you should have. Okay, that's how it should look. All right, now we're gonna let that rest up, guys, for about a half an hour, just sitting there marinating. And then uh, we're just gonna go ahead and cut up this onion. Wash my hands up. Okay, I'm back. That off. There ain't nothing to it cutting up this onion. Get this extra skin off right here. All right. Take that onion. That's it. Alright guys, when this stuff get through marinating over here, we're gonna go ahead and fry up this um uh, vegetables and stuff like that. And then uh we'll go get started on our steak. Okay? And I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm gonna put me some olive oil in here. Put me some butter in there. Time for me to add 
add my mushrooms in here. So I'm trying to put these to the side. Big mushrooms. And you shrink up. And if you don't want yours that thick, you can cut them in half. Not even that, I say about good eight minutes or something. I'm on medium, so yeah, about good eight minutes. All right, see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, let's try to look at Go ahead and take this out. in this pan so we put our meat in it now. They got a ton of flavor up in here. Okay. Alright, it's and it's smoking. So that's what we want. So we're gonna put our meat in there. Like this. I'm gonna take this fat Put it around here because it's going to be help cook that um, bacon a little bit too. Okay. We're going to cook that like, I want to say three minutes on each side. Alright guys, you guys are back in about two and a half minutes. So guys, I am back. Sorry about the um, I just turn on the fan to get smoky up in here. Two and a half minutes and a minute on each side. I so I just went ahead and turned it. It's going to be a minute on the Like it's almost there. 
So we got about another minute on this side. And then I'll show you what we'll be doing next. In a minute. Okay, guys, I'm sticking to you guys. Let these steak rest for about 15 minutes. Now, if you want it to be slick, you could actually make you some gravy out of this. Alright, if you want it. Okay. If you want it to be slick, you can take a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Get a little bold dish, taste to it, put a little bread on there. You want all this stuff on there. Yeah, they get sauteed up real good. You want all the little pieces, pieces on there. over here on this plate. Let this steak rest up, guys. And I'll see you guys in a minute. All right. Okay, fam, I'm back. Steak rested up. That's them right there. Saute onion and um, mushroom. Now we're gonna take this steak. See all that juice? Take this steak, we're just going to slice it thin. I hope you guys didn't think I'm going <laughs> to put that whole piece of steak on there like that, did you? <laughs> you know, somebody probably thought I did. Was. So we're just going to slice it real thin like this, guys. Yeah, you can be able to eat, eat it like that if you are... Uh, Put the whole thing on there like that. Some people can, but I ain't gonna tempt it. That's how you want it, about like that. It ain't real, real pink, and it's not like real, real. See what I'm saying? You want it like this, guys. Comment down below and let me know how many guys, how many of you guys eat your steak rare or medium rare or um, well done. How do you like your steak? Do you like it like that? That's how I about like I like mine. I can eat it a little pinker, but um, I'm good with that. This right here. All right. That's a big piece right here for me. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Tender to mother love. All right. Put my thumb with bread. All right, put some cheese and stuff on that. I'm get me on. Get you some of those. Put it on there. Pop this bad boy in the oven. Mm -hmm. I'm about something good. Oh my god. All right. Take these. Just come on there like this. Guys, you see that? See, I'm just putting them on there like that. Just like that. I'm about to cut up another one for this one. Good. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. 
Poor boy will never be the same. And make sure you guys go to check out Ray Mac Kitchen and Grill because we're doing a collaboration now, guys. I don't know what he's cooking up, but I know it's going to be good. I can tell you that for sure. But, oh, I didn't need that much, huh? Told you it's enough for four sandwiches. Mmm, that is good. I'm gonna eat it up, Ray. <laughs> so that's what we're looking like. We're just gonna put this in the oven and melt that cheese up, okay? And um, when that gets done, I'll show you how, how everything looks. See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I am back. I'm done with these New York Strip Steaks po' boy. With sauteed onions, mushrooms, and pepper jack cheese. This is how it looks. Get some of the cheese flipped over that way. <laughs> and there it is, right here. So, you guys. Please, please go over and check out Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. We're doing a, a collaboration today. So make sure you go over there and show him some love. Okay? And uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and Ray Max channel. And hit that bell. That's right. Hit that bell so you too can be notified the next time I upload another delicious recipe. And I'll see you guys next time. Veldor's Kitchen. Remap. I'm out, bro. Your turn. Let's get it.